Hello Warriors, this is Miss Lemons, and today we are going to be wrapping up our mole calculations uh, with one of the most difficult types of problems that we can encounter on our test. That is a two-step problem utilizing a diatomic molecule. So that means there's two atoms bound together. If you are uncomfortable with two-step problems or diatomic molecules, please see any of the previous videos that I've made that go along with your worksheet. For this worksheet, you're going to need a pencil, a calculator, your periodic table, and your mole concept packet that looks like this. We are going to be working on question number 34. 34 tells us how many grams of fluorine gas, F2, are in 1.405 times 10 to the 24th molecules of gas. So we know we're given 1.405 times 10 to the 24th molecules, and we are looking for how many grams there are. Now it's up to us to determine what our conversion factors are going to be. So we need something that's gonna take us directly from molecules to grams. Let's take a look at the units that we have in our two conversion factors. Is there anything out of our toolbox that takes us directly from molecules to grams? This goes from moles to grams, and this goes from moles to particles, and remember, particles, particles can be molecules, so moles to molecules, but that's not molecules to grams, so that means we need to use both of these conversion factors. So, the first conversion factor is going to be Avogadro's number. It's the easiest one for us to write down because we don't need to plug in any numbers. All we need to replace is this X, and we're going to replace it with the symbol of fluorine gas, which is F2. So this is what I would write for my conversion factors, or conversion factor. Now for the second conversion factor, this is a little special. We're gonna have one mole of X, and we need to find the molar mass of that, but we're not dealing with just a monatomic element, so one atom, we're actually dealing with a diatomic. There are two atoms of fluorine. So we need to look at our periodic table first to figure out the mass of one atom of fluorine, and then we'll multiply it by two to get the mass of F2. So let's look at our periodic table. Fluorine is element 9 on the periodic table. It has a mass of 19 grams per mole. So every mole of fluorine has a mass of 19 grams. We can go ahead and use that number to help us figure out the mass of F2. So, a little bit of example here. So think about F2. F2 is going to look like this. There are two atoms of fluorine bound together. We know that the mass of one fluorine is 19.00 grams per mole. But because there are two fluorines, we want to multiply that value by two. So the total molar mass of F2 is 38.00 grams per mole. All right, so I'm going to be using this number in our little conversion factor up at the top. Awesome. So... Now that I have all the tools that I need, I can go ahead and calculate the answer. Our setup is always the same. Start with what you know, oops, what you know, over one, so that is 1.405 times 10 to the 24th molecules of F2.
And again, don't abbreviate molecules, write the whole word out, otherwise it's gonna look like mole. Okay, I'm then gonna multiply that by a conversion factor. Remember, what's on top must come down. So if I have molecules of F2 on top, I wanna to have molecules of F2 on the bottom. So I'll go ahead and start writing that. I'm gonna run out of room, so that's why I stacked it. Okay, so is there anything in my conversion factors that I've selected that has the word molecules in it? And the answer is yes, Avogadro's number. So we're gonna go ahead and plug 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd into the denominator of this conversion factor. Pardon me, it is a little sloppy. Okay, if you use one half of your conversion factor on the bottom, you have to use the other half on top, so that's gonna be one mole of F2. Now, if I were to stop here, molecules of F2 on top cancels with molecules of F2 on the bottom, but then we would be left with moles of F2, and that's not what we need. We need grams of F2. So that means we need to do another conversion factor. So then we're gonna go ahead and use our other conversion factor that we selected. And I know that we're using this because we already used this one up, but also, we're trying to get to grams, and we haven't included grams in our calculations yet, so we're gonna be using our molar mass. What's on top must come down. So if I have moles of F2 on top, I need to have moles of F2 on the bottom. How many moles? Look at your conversion factor, one. And then on top, we have the other half of the conversion factor, which is 38.00 grams, right? If you use one half of your conversion factor, you have to use the other half on top. Now, I know I've set this up correctly because molecules of F on top cancel with molecules of F2 on the bottom. Moles of F2 on top cancels with moles of F2 on the bottom. And I will be left with grams of F2, which is what we are looking for. So let's go ahead and calculate by multiplying my numerators together. So that would be 1.405 times 10 to the 24th times 1 times 38. Be careful when you type this value into your calculator, just throw a pair of parentheses around it so that the order of operations doesn't get messed up. So I quickly rewrote this so that it's easier for us to see and I can fit everything on one page. Um, so we know that everything is calculating or is canceling out. So I multiplied my numerators together and it ended up getting um, 5.339 times 10 raised to the 25th. Okay. And then... 1 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd times 1 is going to be itself. So I'm going to put that on the bottom, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power. And now we can divide the top and bottom. Just be sure you are placing parentheses around each scientific notation term. When I plug that into my calculator, the raw answer, the raw number that I get is... 88.687707. Of course, we want to make sure that we're rounding according to the rules of sig figs. We started with four sig figs, so we want to end with four. So I'm going to underline my top four place value holders or placeholders, and we're going to go ahead and round up or down. Because 7 is higher than 5, we're rounding up. So your final answer is 88.69, and that would be grams of F2.
two. This is your final answer. And you can kind of check yourself too by looking at, oops, by looking at what we divided. We took a really, really big number and divided by a really, really big number and we ended up with a yeah, pretty average number, which sounds about right.